She was this sort of nimble little foal, frolicking around, very uncoordinated. She was lots of arms and legs. I was really clumsy and I was a really slow developer. From humble beginnings to a world champion netballer. To be honest, I genuinely do enjoy myself out there on the court. Caitlin Bassett has become one of the country's most marketable players. <laughs> no, no. No need to thank me. But being tall has come at a price. Height is something that I've struggled with my whole life. From her school days... Standing out and being different from everyone um, was not necessarily something that I liked when I was in primary school and high school. To visiting a supermarket this week... Mother and her son walked behind me for a good five minutes talking and whispering loudly about how tall I was. So it's a constant reminder for me every single day behind me that I am different from everybody else. She's always been a little bit subconscious of her height away from the court. As you can imagine, any six foot four, she's actually six foot five, but she'll lie about it. As Caitlin's teammate, Kate Beveridge has seen her friend's remarkable rise to the top. In the years to come, probably become one of Australia's best netball players ever. Yeah, she's quite the smiling assassin in, in a way. Stacey Rosman is Caitlin's coach at The Fever. Arguably the world's best shooter and when you've got that sort of title to your name, you, you certainly it's for the hard work that you put in. On the court, Caitlin is composed and super competitive. She's a player that I've never quite seen before in that nothing seems to phase her. She's probably the only person who can perhaps make an error and just have this big beautiful smile on her face and get away with it. As a kid growing up in Byford, riding horses was her passion. That's what my scars from horse riding and um, we've had the horses for a very long time. But when she launched a career in netball, there was a quick wake up call. All she'd eat every day was Rocky Road or chocolate for breakfast, lunch and dinner. She had this extremely fat face um, and her eating habits were appalling. When my skin folds and fitness started to suffer, it was only then that I started changing my habits. The 26-year-old's sweetest moment came when she scored the match winner at the 2011 World Championships. Look at the face of Caitlin Bassett! I still get goosebumps watching that moment because that is pretty much the moment that everyone kind of turned around and looked at me and thought, oh wow, she's not just a tall standing shooter. She's fast becoming one of Australia's most valuable players. How do you beat Caitlin? How do you um, combat her height, her presence and her accuracy? It started with a rocky road, but Caitlin now has an appetite for team success in 2015. Winning a premiership with FIBA would be the ultimate dream for me. She is very, very competitive. Definitely, I will make myself a massive batch of rocky road if I win world champs.